Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is going to be a Libra weekly money and career reading from January 8th to the 14th, 2024. Yes, I'm back in my space. Let me know if you enjoy the other one better with more light or if this one works better for you. Let me know. All right, Libra, let's see <coughs> what energies we have for this upcoming week. Money and career, January 8th to the 14th, 2024. Be on the lookout on the hear out for the magic word. There is a magic word here to win one free reading in this month of January. And I will be announcing the two names for the readings, free readings for the month of December in a live this Sunday, January 7th at noon Eastern Standard Time. If anybody's interested, I hope you can join me. And uh, I hope uh, some consider becoming members as I will be able to answer questions for members only. And as members, I mean, I don't mean subscribers, I mean memberships, because I think some people um, confuse subscri being subscribed and being members. Members, there is a fee. All right, let's get going, Libra. Let's see what energies we have for this upcoming week, January 8th to the 14th, 2024. Money and career, the judgment. Big decision there, Libra. You, you're you stepping up. You're stepping up to something more important for you. You're making a big, big decision. This is a pivotal point in your career, a pivotal point maybe in your life path. Um, major decision to uh, not only um, move up, move up maybe energy-wise or move up... Um, responsibility wise maybe it's a promotion or maybe it's you stepping up your game uh gaining more uh knowledge taking classes to start your own business or to get that job you really want with more responsibilities right it's it's a choice but it's a big choice a big decision uh, that but that's that is um guiding you towards something much more interesting, right? It's It feels like you're destined to something else. And inch by inch, you're ready, right? You're, you're making your way. And now you're ready to act upon what is, what you have to do to shift, to change, to step up the game. And so for that, it feels like you're letting go of an old situation, old job, old energy and you're really stepping into a newer version of yourself here in January 2024 who you really are what makes sense to you what's important for you and this decision is sort of made with a blend of intuition and intellect like at the same time you want that job or you want to start your business or you want to go back to school or whatever right um it will be different for everyone but this decision is made because you have clarity and decided that you wanted more. More money, a more interesting job, or, or being independent, independent financially, and, and starting your own thing, right? And so this is a major crossroads significant change significant change so you can be moving you can be sh changing structures you can be i feel like you've been on the search for this for a while so trust it now you're aligning with what is important for you and you're on the right path you're almost there you push you're almost there libra and i feel like this the this past year or years and not for only you libra i'm speaking for the collective here has been has has been over and over a massive 
lesson for everyone in shifting, turning, adapting, not understanding, being confused and reshifting and restarting, right? Massive, massive lesson for all. And this is bringing you to a new experience that all the pieces are sort of coming together now. And you're able to put the past behind, able to put that energy, that situation behind. Yes, look at this. Beautiful. Exactly that. All right, so let me just put these in order. Here's your five of cups, the disappointment, the disagreement, that job that wasn't jiving, or your energy within your career path, within your life path that just was not connecting to that situation or to multiple situations, multiple jobs you've had along the way. The disappointment, the not enough, the people aren't seeing me, people are not valuing me for who I am, for my talent, they're not seeing my talent. It's like you're knocking, I see you knocking on the window. Hey, I'm here, this is what I'm about. This is what I know how to do. I have a lot of experience, this is my talent. I want to prove and show you the world who I am. That is what the judgment card is all about. Rising up to who you are, rising up to who you really are so you can show the world and shine what you are. It's it's very um it's very um emotional. Uh even though Libra I know you're more matter of fact, but here in 5 of cups the moon disappointed in those answers, disappointed in what people are offering you, the possibilities. And or not getting the answers or being confused because what is out there is not what you want or what is out there is not enough for you, right? And here, look at this. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful. There's your offer or there's your money finally coming in so you can build, you can develop um, an opportunity or financial opportunity to push forward. There you go. You have the magician. It's time to move forward. Time to make it happen, Libra. Time to build. Time to build your own. Time to be in what you want to be. Time to be what you want to be, Libra. You, you know, you have everything you need. And that's when the magician appears. Not only, I know the magician usually represents manifestation. I manifested this. I wanted this. So therefore it's coming in. Well, manifesting isn't that easy, right? I always say it's not uh, sitting on the couch or, you know, dreaming that things are going to come in and they're going to come in. Sometimes miracles happen. Sometimes it happens. But most of all, manifesting is working hard in doing everything you can to put yourself in that situation, in that energy, connect with people, network, figure out what your, the environment is in that thing that you're manifesting. What is it all about? How can I get there? Um, what do I need? Who do I need, right? How much do I need? Whatever it is. Here you are with this offer that you are so waiting for. Let's see where this is going. Because I feel like you've did been disappointed in the past. But for me, the Five of Cups and the Moon is there because... Uh, the, the judgment is there because of the Five of Cups and the Moon, right? The confusion, uh, the disappointment, the deception. So now you know you're taking that big decision, right? To move into what is most important for you or what it is that you have been trying to do, right? You're just taking a, you're, you're stepping it up. All right, Libra. Weekly money and career, January 8th to the 14th. Yes. The stress of it all. I feel like this nine of swords constantly comes up for everybody but looks you're listening you're open to listen very good and there's the offer again page of pentacles queen of cups page of pentacles page of pentacles you are now 
receiving this offer. This is an opportunity, a financial opportunity, business opportunity, job opportunity, whatever it is that you're waiting for, these are co-related, right? Here with the Queen of Cups, you're finally understanding that you have to open to dialogue. You have to listen. You have to listen to others, to what's going on. What is this environment? What do you have to answer to? What kind of connections do you have to have? It feels emotional here with the Queen of Cups. Now, this can be a water sign around you, a coworker, a friend, a family member, anybody, right? That is actually helping you, guiding you, listening to you, right? And um, sort of walking you through this. And it's with this person that may be, so it can be a partner, but I don't think so. I really think it's a friend or a family member that's there for you, listening to you, long conversations, um, figuring things out, how this is going to work, how you can make it happen, and how you can step forward in this new path, right? Right? This is, um, this is a true movement forward on your idea. Perfect time to do this, right? And it's perfect time to take action and bring your intentions to fruition, right? With the, with the, the magician, you've gathered everything, all your skills, your experience, your knowledge, your capabilities, your resources along your path, along your life path that is leading you right here, right now, to make things happen. This is where you are now, right? Whether or not you know this, right? Whether, whether or not you feel this, you are ready to turn your idea into reality. You are ready. So just focus on the one thing that will move you towards your goal and commit to the task. Here you are, Libra. Here you are. It's time. It's game time. It's game time. You're out. You're out with the Ten of Swords. You have the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords, which tells me, and the Deception, which tells me you're out of whatever you're doing or that was not, you were not connecting to or was not serving you. You are out and two cards, Knight of Swords, out rapidly, quickly, quick, quick shift, right? Here you are, Libra, quick shift, um, imposing, imposing this um, new, um, it's, it's almost like you're imposing to do this fast. You're out of there. You're out of there. And that's okay. You're not taking any nonsense anymore. This is what you want. You're out of there. Two cards, Knight of Swords and Eight of Wands telling me that there's a quick shift, fast action to move on to the next, um, the next level. The next level. Game time. <laughs> really. Um, it's, it's, um, it's interesting because I feel like this has been a long time coming, Libra. All right, let's see. If you're interested, um, uh, the monthlies are up. I did monthlies to bridge the gap because I was late with all the travel um, nonsense. So uh, if you're interested, uh, you might want to check out the monthly Libra might get a little a few more messages there all right let's see if there are a few more energies that want to come out yes yeah, so you're going from the knight to the to the king no dilly dallying no dilly dallying you, this is what you want um you're cutting to the chase you the thing is you speak your mind libra so no matter what people know exactly you know, where you stand. Let me just see if there's one more card here. I feel like there's one more card that wants to come out. Yes, well, there you go. The tower, yeah. 
Well, yeah, of course, the tower, because this is a big ship. This is a big change. You have the judgment, the the magician, and the tower, and this knight of swords and eight of swords just saying rapid movement forward. Your decision is made, but you're also finding clarity, right? You understand what this is all about, and you understand what you're pushing forward now. Complete clarity. I like that. I really like that because the King of Swords is all about that mental clarity, that intellectual power, that authority, that truth. You're in your truth. And Libra, you like nothing but the truth, right? Honesty, integrity. You're, you step it up for integrity and honesty. And you're always there. You're always at that level. Uh, but also you expect everybody else to be at that level. And it's, it's hard for you to understand why other people don't step it up that way. Because for you, it feels natural. It feels normal to be, to be honest and to be true. A little bit like Scorpio in that way. Not, I'm not comparing the signs at all, but Scorpio, uh, you know, likes things to be clear and honest and um and and in that way you do too and that's what you deliver and you don't always understand and that's where you there is a misunderstanding very often with libra because you don't understand why other people don't step it up the way you do here you have clarity clarity on the situation clarity on your choice clarity on your decision and your energy pushing forward i like that because you're now in your power so because of this clarity of mind, you can stand firm in this truth and in your conviction and in your choice, right? People are going to pay attention. You have that clarity that permits you to judge a situation appropriately and know what can get in your way now. And you're, you're not going to pay attention to that nonsense anymore. Disconnect, right? Not for you. Bored. Done. I don't want to deal with those people anymore. I understand exactly what is going on. I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to start new. And because I'm clear, right, it takes a lot of weight off your shoulder. Page of Wands. New excitement. I like this. Nine of Wands. You're persevering. And I think that this whole change uh is freaking you out a little bit because now all of a sudden it's time to do it or you know you have the resources to do it or this is the perfect timing and you have that offer so it's sort of like that beautiful offer or that money coming in or that you know that opportunity is sort of shifting you forward pushing you forward where all of a sudden uh instead of um delving not delving instead of staying in that same old same old energy that frustrating energy that you didn't want to be in anymore but you sort of stayed there until something else new and better comes around you sort of got used to that boredom and that dissatisfaction so the fact that here all of a sudden things are being shaken up and now you're stepping up your game you know, it's game time, like I said, it's freaking you out a little bit. But look at this, you have the Six of Wands. So trust yourself, be confident, you're rewarded for everything you've done up to now. People are going to recognize you. People are going to see you for everything you've done. Six of Wands. So be proud. Be proud of yourself because you've come a long way. And with this Six of Wands, it's really about success reward reward time praise for your hard work praise for your dedication your loyalty whatever it is that you've been doing libra go for it go for it this is your time this is your time to to step up into a new job new responsibilities or your own business or your own project whatever it is that you want to put out there nine of cups there you go there is, there it is, your career aspiration coming true, your goal coming true, your wishes coming true. There comes the manifestation. That is when it comes in. After that hard work and dedication and finally finding clarity on this next step. 
Nine of Cups. Beautiful. There you have your confirmation. Aspirations coming true. Goal time. Exactly that. It is game time. It is goal time. Love it. Knight of Wands. Excitement. It's becoming lighter. It's becoming more fun. This is something you have aspired to, and this is something you really wanted to do. Page of Cups. Yes, another offer there. So all these pages, new emotions, new messages, right? Pages are about messages, but they're also about emotions, uh, intentions, ins um, inspirations, right? You're inspired again. And um, it's exciting. It's exciting because, you know, you've aspired for this, to this, or for this, I don't know, for such a long time that now it's coming to reality. Absolutely beautiful reading, um, Libras. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Um, I, I, I think that... Your magic word, which is probably a sentence, is aspirations coming true. So down below, put aspirations or aspirations coming true. Whatever works for you, whatever you're inspired to write down below in the comment section. If you wish to uh, put your name in the hat for a free reading in this month of uh, January 2024. I hope to see you at the live Sunday, January 7th, noon Eastern Standard Time, if you're able to join. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a great week, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye.